Hello friends, Misha Crossing here. Um, my <laughs> cough and sore throat has turned into a bit of a sinus infection. So sorry if I sound a little nasally. I, uh, I'm not feeling too terrible, just a little, little congested. <laughs> and I'm sure my voice is going to reflect that a bit. <clears throat> Goodness. Oh, I I've got flowers, okay. Oh, from Gulliver, yeah, I guessed he was going to Ireland. To Misha, at the moment, I'm having a great time in Ireland. I found some cool shamrock goods, so I'm sending you one as a gift. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks for your help. From Gulliver, with love. Thanks, Gulliver. It is a shamrock clock. Exactly what it sounds like. Well, let's go and uh, take a look at what it is. And then probably just put it away in storage. I can't imagine that I would want uh, <laughs> to really use it. Um... <clears throat> I guess I'll try to put it up right here and see if it lets me. There we go. Yep, it looks like a shamrock and it's a clock. Shamrock clock. Let's put it away for safekeeping. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. What else do I need to put away? Um, oh, I need to go donate the solemn painting. I guess I'll keep the lucky... Black cat and modern wood sofa, whatever. <laughs> I'm also gonna build a new- I'll go ahead and put my megaphone away, I really only need that every once in a while. Just needed to find Eric yesterday so I could give him his fish. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to get my voice to sound normal. <laughs> and I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm going to build a snowball, hello! Uh... I wasn't gonna say snowman, but I think I'm gonna build a snowman, too. Uh, I think I'm gonna build another... <gasps> Are the Christmas lights gone? Oh, guys. Christmas lights on the trees are gone. So, oh, I should update my dream address. I should do it tomorrow. Tomorrow I will update my dream address 100%. Um, just need need a little bit of time to prepare. I should put a snowman so do snowmen show up in dream towns? I don't know. I hope so. I'll have to find the perfect place for him. Oh, and there's the other snowball. Perfect. Okay. So there's one above Eric's house and one below Eric's house. Wonderful. Is that Miss Ruby? What is today? It's the fourth. I thought Flo was moving out on the third. What the what the what? <sighs> What's happening? Maybe Ruby will know. Maybe Ruby's got the 411. Maybe she's got the gossip. Tell me about Flo. Home decorating shows. Oh, she wants something new. Uh, I don't have anything for you. I'm sorry. I want your house to stay the same. Do we have a camper? No, no camper. Um, I already have two log benches? I forgot I had two. I thought I just had the one, but there's one by the campsite and one up by my house. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, Isabel didn't tell me someone was moving out today. She's sleeping? Well, maybe she's moving out today, she just needs to wake up and be in boxes. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I feel like Isabel would still tell me. Uh, I just don't know. Oh, what's on the message board? Oh, they have a very fine four lamp today. Yay. Oh yeah, my street light is here. There it is. Along with some purple flowers that I don't want. Looks nice. Okay, uh, let's go to Isabel and build something. Let's, shall we? We shall. What are my initiatives for today? Might as well look. Fashion forward. <clears throat> Hanging clothing on your wall. Taking a new TPC photo. Uh, just catch 20 bugs. Okay, I can do that. Uh, and visit the island to catch uh, some sort of stag beetle. Probably won't do that, but I can catch 20 bugs by Monday. That's doable. Just glad it doesn't have to be like 20 new bugs. That would be ridiculous. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna celebrate it. I think I'm just gonna move on to uh, a new project. 
<coughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm gross. Just still wanted to play Animal Crossing and film videos for you even though I'm a little sickly. Okay, so log bench I could use up there. Do I have a hammock anywhere? <clears throat> no, I got rid of the hammock, didn't I? And I never put it anywhere. Yeah, I should put the hammock up there by the, uh... Up by the river. That would be good. Yeah. Yeah! God. 538,000 bells for a totem pole. <clears throat> no thanks. <clears throat> Alright, hammock. Let's go. Yes! Let's go find a place to build. <laughs> I can hear Margo using the litter box. She's uh, uh, scooping it, you know, covering herself. Good job, Margo. Proud of you. Now she's about to bolt out and run away from it. Maybe. No, she didn't. She didn't bolt and run away from it. She just casually walked out like, hmm? You noticed that I was pooping? She normally bolts out and runs all the way across the apartment after she uses the, the litter box. Oh, I need to be, like, right here where this tree is. Don't I? Or... Oh no, I need to be right here, actually. I don't even need to be where this tree is. But I, I, mean, I guess I will destroy this tree with the hammock <laughs> and the two behind it, unfortunately. Oh, hi, Margo, baby! Hi! <laughs> um... Yes, this is the spot. Understood. Well, let's go ahead and start the needed preparations. Oh! Hi, Pete! <laughs> Has he always been there? I feel like he was not there before. <clears throat> What's up? Good morning, Mary Misha. Phew, I swear. These people are mailing bricks to each other just to spite me. <laughs> um, I don't think so, Pete. I think we all really respect your job. Hopefully. I mean, I do. I don't know about everybody else, though. Margo is now on the desk, trying to find her way to my lap. She's looking really hard. Maybe she will settle for eating the plant instead, so I will move the plant away from her. It's a peace lily, and cats are, I don't know if allergic is the word, but they're the peace lilies are poisonous to kitties. And I remember one time she had a couple bites of um, a peace lily, and it made her it made her puke a couple of times. I felt so bad. But she's just a dum-dum that likes to eat plants for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. She has plenty of food. I give her- I don't give her plenty of treats every day, but I give her treats sometimes. <sighs> Yay! A cedar tree! I can put it above the hammock. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can hear. You probably can, it's really loud. Oh, the pink trains are back! <laughs> um, uh, there's a train station outside my apartment. God, it's squeaking so loud right now. I guess just the tracks are really old, or these trains are really old, or something, but they just squeak so loud sometimes when they're just slowly coming in, um, to the station. It's not even a station, it's just like, I don't know if the companies come to unload the goods here, because they can't go any further than right here. The trains can't go any further than, than this stop. So I don't know what happens here, but there are trains here for like, I don't know, several hours and then they go away. Sometimes a day, but the pink trains are here. I haven't seen the pink trains in a while. <laughs> There's like a couple that are a light pink and a couple that are a dark pink. <clears throat> Potash Corp is, uh, is the company on them. There are some trains with really, really cool uh, graffiti on them. Some are just like tags, like names, but some of them have some really cool, cool art on them. It's fun to see those when they come by. There were okay, so there was nothing up there that I wanted, <laughs> clearly. 
Just kind of ignored everything. All right, so I'm gonna go plant this cedar tree. Oh, it won't be fully grown though. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do a teensy bit of cheating and, uh, I mean, I guess I time travel anyways, but like time traveling, Normally I just time travel just to get to the next day in order to play through that day to record. Um, but maybe I will uh, go a step further and uh, time travel so that I can get this tree built. I don't know. Does it matter to me that much? I'm not really sure. And then I'll plant another apple tree right here. Yes. Uh, where should these bushes go? I guess one right here. What do I get? An azalea and a hydrangea. I'll do the... I'll do the azalea right here. And then... Oh, there's a hydrangea over there already. Poop. Um... Oh well, I guess I'll do... No, I'll do the hydrangea somewhere else. I don't I don't need anything else up here. I feel like that'll be good. Oh, do I still have those cosmos? I do. <clears throat> there are just no flowers up here. Okay. Looking good. My man. That's probably one of my favorite episodes of Rick and Morty is the... Uh... Okay, now Margo's like in front of the microphone. I feel like she's gonna rub up against it and make some weird noises. Uh, the one where they're in the fake... Oh, I don't really like this bush being right here. I think I'll dig it up. Where Rick and Morty are put in the uh, fake world, the uh, virtual reality. Virtual world, basically, by those aliens that are trying to get Rick's formula to... Uh, uh, Oh, it's like fuel for intergalactic travel, for... Oh, uh, what is it? I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, but they end up going through like... Are you not moving? What's the deal? Tell me. Oh, oh no. Ruby wants to talk to me. There we go. I think I'd like a catchphrase that's a bit catchier. No, I just want people to move out of town. <laughs> oh my goodness, more cosmos. They're everywhere. Come here. There we go. <clears throat> um, should I? Oh yeah, there's Wisp's lamp. I almost forgot I had it there. <laughs> I guess just right here. Oh, I also don't like these two bushes being right next to each other. I think it looks a little a little cluttered. So I'm gonna move that one. Maybe I'll just put one right here. I think that'll be good. Alright, I need to start... Now Margaret just jumped over to the TV stand. Goodness. Oh, I do need to donate. I don't have any other fossils, though. I just have that painting and one fossil. I hate going to Blathers with, like, only two things. I like to make it worth the trip. <laughs> um... Was anybody in the plaza? Nobody's in the plaza. I'm gonna pick this up. I really don't like this sitting out here. It looks weird. <clears throat> oh, my little tree's growing right here. I should move these flowers to, um, I guess right here? Sure. Why not? Okay, does anywhere else need a tree? Probably. Probably somewhere needs a tree. Let's just go up to the campground first, see what's going on up there, and I'll wander around and see if anywhere else needs a Needs a perfect apple tree. Hi, Harvey. Oh, he's feeding the birds. He's got his, uh... Oh, what? I'm a little town flag pole. I've never seen that before. Huh. Cool. 
Interesting. Is it a sign? <clears throat> it's not a flag, because it's not, like, blowing in the breeze. So I guess it's just a tall sign. Huh. Interessant. Oh, we got, uh... I really want it to be Booker. It's always copper. Um, yeah, it's always copper. I really want it to be Booker sometime, because other NPCs that are in your town can come to the campground, and then Wisp is, like, taking their place. Um, which is really, really cute. Like, taking their place in their store, wherever they're supposed to be stationed. I don't know why that can't happen with Booker. Okie dokes. Um, <clears throat> how many spaces do I have? I'm gonna pick up a few things that are randomly sitting around town so I can make them into presents to be sat around for people to find. Because there are some. Because for my first dream town, I laid out just some different hats and. I think maybe some glow wands. Yeah, where am I gonna put this snowman? Maybe up by my house? That'd be fun. <clears throat> oh my goodness! <laughs> I found a four-leaf clover! I wonder if that makes me lucky. I was just gonna pick it because I didn't really like it right there. <laughs> and then it happened to be a four-leaf clover. Awesome. I think I'm actually gonna plant it. Right here. Aww. How lucky. <laughs> that was funny. Um. Oh yeah, maybe the snowman can go right here. That'd be a good place for him. Oh no, but he needs like space on either on all around him so that he doesn't disappear. Hmm. Okay, I'll figure out a place for the snowman uh, after I'm after I'm done recording. But yeah, I really don't see any other places where fossils are, huh? I'm gonna make. It's gonna plant a tree somewhere. That tree's still growing. One right, not right there. What about right here? I don't really need one right there, though. <laughs> I'm being so picky. Okay, I'm gonna move these flowers right here. Oh yeah, sparklers too. I had sparklers set out for, uh, for Dreamtown visitors. Oh yeah, there's stuff right here I need to pick up. Tomorrow you'll see me kind of sitting everything out, probably. I'll do some, uh, probably fine-tuning landscaping off-camera, um, maybe moving some, uh, some flowers around. I think that I might have a couple of black flowers on the beach I need to bring up. And then tomorrow you'll see me kind of doing the final little, final little bits. Little bits. Oh, Deirdre, hi! Oh no! Don't hurt her! <laughs> she is precious! I don't want to use a sparkler either. There we go. Morning, Misha! I made myself get up early so you wouldn't outshine me! It's like 11 o'clock. So anyway, did you need something? You have any songs you're always humming to yourself? For me, it's the town tune from my old town. Oh, Yeah, that really takes me back. It, I love the Delfino town tune, Traveler. Aww. I love when villagers I get from other people sing their town tunes or just talk about their old towns. Precious. Alright, well, I'm done looking for fossils. I'll do a little bit more looking uh, off camera. So that is it for this episode. I think I'm going to build a snowman, do a little fine-tuning landscaping, and then tomorrow my dream address will be updated so you can come and see a snowy, um bit more landscaped Kodama. Super excited for you all to visit. Um, if you all want to follow my other social media, links are down in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another and don't forget to be awesome. Bye!